Firstly, let's look at what you need. The fire light is on the left hand side. You'll see there's a big lump there. Some kindling, which we cut out the back from the logs, plenty of logs out the back, and some smaller logs on the right hand side. It's important to get the air flowing through the wood burner in the early stages to make sure that we build up a nice core of heat. On very cold days, if the chimney is cold, then we need to get that warmed so that it starts to draw properly. And that's why we use a big lump of fire lighter and some very finely chopped twigs. You may find it easier to pick up some dried kindling from the petrol station on the way here to get it started faster. The important element is this tiny little tab here, which moves to the left to slow the burn down. In other words, reducing the amount of air flowing through and to the right uh, to give us maximum amount of air. Always start it far on the right hand side. The door is just a pull latch. Give it a firm pull and open you come. Now we're ready to build the fire. Place the fire lighters in the center of the grate and then build up using the kindling in a crisscross fashion. Sorry for the shaky video, I'm doing this by hand. Build up at least two or three layers of crisscross. So now you can see we have the fire lighters accessible through the right hand side here by a match and three layers of crisscross wood. The tab is wide open and we're ready to light. Using the matches provided, light one end of the fire lighter until it's fully alight and burning well. And then quickly shut the door. The smoke should rise up through the chimney, but as you can see, it's starting to build ever so slightly in the chamber. If you find that it becomes too foggy in the chamber, that means that the chimney is not drawing. And that is solved very, very simply in the early stages by just pulling the door ever so slightly. Oh, let me show you that again. Just pulling the door ever so slightly ajar. You must not run the uh, wood burner in this condition uh, during normal operation but just during this starting phase it helps light the wood especially if the chimney is cold and the purpose of this small fire is to heat the chimney and to build the drawer now you can see the logs in there the kindling is fully alight and the chimney drawing well what we can now do is shut the door and you'll immediately see the flame slightly back off. Watch it for another five minutes. This is about a 20 minute, 25 minute process to get the core of the fire going before we add some smaller logs. Now that the door is shut, you can see the fire has died down somewhat but it's still well alight and that's how we need it before we add the smaller logs. Let that burn and as the wood burner heats up and the chimney draws better, that is what we need to set the logs. About 10 minutes has passed now and so you can see the kindling is now well alight with the door shut. Now what we need to do is to add two or three small logs to the top of the fire, opening the door gently to make sure that nothing falls out, placing them in and cloak quickly as possible, closing the door, door again. Let me grab the two dry, smaller logs, open the door, Mustn't leave the door open very long because the smoke will fill the chamber. In this case, I'm going to put three on, place them on top and close the door again. 
Now we need to leave it for a further 10 or 15 minutes to establish those logs. As the chamber warms, the hot air circulates inside the chamber and dries those logs as well. But do try and pick smaller logs and make sure that they're bone dry. All the wood out the back is fully seasoned. Another 10 to 15 minutes has passed and you can see the logs are now fully alight. And you'll hear the outside casing heating up and you'll start to feel some of the heat. It takes about 30 minutes before the wood burner is warm enough and starts to warm the atmosphere outside of it. You also may find that the glass sometimes has got black patches on it. The way to get rid of those black patches is to burn a full load at maximum air and that heat will burn off the dark patches on the glass. As you can see, the logs have now taken fully and you'll hear and start to feel the warmth come through. That takes about 30 minutes. And in about 45 minutes, the room will be very toasty. Keep the tab on the top fully to the right. And remember, it will be hot when you touch it. You can slow the burn down by putting it to the left hand side. And as you'll see, that has an almost instantaneous effect on the chamber and slows everything down. We don't really want to do that until the night time. So during the daytime, leave the tab fully to the right hand side and you'll see in a shoe few sh short seconds by opening it up to the right that the fire re-establishes itself, the airflow builds and we get a very good even burn. Now that the fire is fully alight and the three logs are completely burning, the fire settles into the base and it's at this point we're going to add one or maybe two larger logs. Be careful not to overfill or touch the baffle at the top, top of the inside of the chamber. When you open the door, make sure you're standing to the right and not standing over the top of the fire as a lot of heat comes out of that fire when we open the door. Here is that larger log. open that door you'll feel the heat push it onto the fire close the door immediately one or two ash particles may come out and they'll be burning embers there are tools metal tools around to the side of the fire here and those can be collected and either put outdoors if they're smoking or popped back into the chamber. Let me show you. Using the shovel, pick up the embers, crack the door again, throw them in, close the door again. It is critical to keep the door closed at all times, except in that very early stage of getting the kindling burning and alight when we can crack it just open to increase the airflow to get the chimney warm. Settle back and let that burn until there are hot embers and flames. And then we can start adding logs one or two at a time. Five minutes later, you can see the big log is now well alight and the fire is operating correctly. Please now just let it burn down so that you have red hot embers in the base and nice flames. Adding logs as you go to keep yourself warm. At night time, we'd recommend that you load the chamber with two or three logs and then slow it down. 
using the tab. This tab is very hot, so be careful when you touch it. And you want to slow it down to about two thirds of the way to the left. Fully right, fully left, two thirds of the way. And what you will notice in a short period of time is that the fire will calm down and provide a good ambient heat through the, through the night. You may need to get up during the night to pop on a couple more logs. And if you do that, before you open the fire, and every time before you open the fire, make sure that that tab is fully right. If there are just a few embers, adding logs, opening it fully right, will make, could make it relight. And if it doesn't, then you'll need to restart this process. The fire should relight after about four or five hours of fully load burning slowly. We do hope you have a fantastic stay and that you are snug and warm. If you have any problems, just pick up the telephone. If you have any issues at all, pick up the telephone, but be aware that there is a fire extinguisher under the bench and two fire blankets hanging on the, on the edge. Also a fire extinguisher here upstairs and a Velux window, which acts as the fire escape onto the roof. There are carbon monoxide detectors and plenty of ventilation in the building to prevent its buildup. There are also smoke alarms. And now the logs have burnt down about an hour's uh, wait, but it's lovely and warm in here. And you can see it's all settled in the bottom, lovely red embers. And now is the time to add another log. I'm gonna put a big one on this time. Same process. Open the door gently, it'll be warm. Pop it in and close the door and you're ready once more.